Hello there and a very warm welcome to another edition of Channels Beam. I am Victor Mathias. Now it's over three years since President Muhammad Buhari took over the mantle of leadership, but questions have been raised as to whether or not he has delivered on the promises he made to the electorates while seeking their votes. And that will be our focus on the program today. And we will also be looking at the not too young to run bill just signed into law by the president. But before we do that, let's take a look at what got the social media bubbling in the past week. Nigeria's Super Eagles became a top trend after the launch of the new World Cup kit. With 3 million pre-orders before the official release date, the Super Eagles donned the jersey in the World Cup friendly game against England at Wembley where they lost 2-1. Moments after President Buhari assented to the not too young to run bill, the too old to run hashtag followed, seeking for a bill to cut the age at which people will no longer have the constitutional right to seek elective office. Well, there you go. Those were the most trending hashtags in the past week. But joining us at this moment to look at the President's Democracy Day speech as well as a review of his three years in office, we have Dara Israel. He's a member of the APC. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you so much, Richard, for having me on the program. You're welcome. We also have joining us on the Google Plus Hangout, we have um, Bid Chukwe Kezie. He's a Nigerian living in the United Kingdom. Bid, thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you. Uh, we also have Olumuiwa Mao who joins us. He is a political scientist and he joins us from New Zealand, Dunedin specifically. Thank you for joining us as well. It's a pleasure being here. Uh, we also have Ife Adebayo who joins us from the office of the Vice President. He is the Senior Special Assistant on Entrepreneurship and Innovation. Thank you as well for coming on the program. Thank you. I'm pleased to be here. Of course. So let me just come back to you, um, Dayo, get this conversation started for us. I mean, uh, three years down the lane. I mean, down the line, um, the democracy speech as well, how would you say the president has done so far? Um, I think in his own capacity and based on his own strength, uh, the president has been able to achieve some things. Uh, fair enough, people have said that the president uh, was responsible for taking the country into recession in the first place. Um, so, you know, getting out of the recession was actually doing what it was supposed to do. But I believe that he has made progress. We needed the president very strongly in 2014 to put an end to the uh, arbitrary and the, uh, the, the kind of economic indiscipline that our country was getting into and the kind of corruption that we're experiencing under the leadership at that period in time. So we needed that stopgap. And I think that President Buhari afforded us as a country that stopgap to be able to sit down and reflect and, you know, press pause. 
before we begin to achieve a lot of things else. And so one of the things I think he has also done was to, is, is to try to be able to fix some of the things that have gone wrong. Obviously, there are some lapses that could have been done better, but I think in his own capacity, and you must understand everybody has their level of capacity and strength, and everybody brings their uniqueness and diversity into the public space or into public service. So based on his own capacity, uniqueness, and diversity, he has been able to say, you know what, well, this is what I've been able to do so far. Uh, yes, also, before I came into government, there were aspirations, there were promises, there were hopes that were kept up, you know, but then the reality of governance sometime, in particular for the executive, uh, has made it impossible for him to also achieve some of the things he probably thought he was going to achieve. Okay. But what he had done was to give us a feedback of what he had achieved so far. All right, I'll come back to you in a bit. But um, Alumi, well, let me just um, come to you. You are a political scientist. Um, um, like um, Dyer has said, you know, the, pres the president made promises and for some reasons he has not been able to achieve all of those promises. But you know, what do you think? I mean, three years down the line, I mean, do you think we're moving in the right direction? Well, um, I like the, um, I mean, you know, phrase that Dio uh, made use of. He said, based on his own capacity, he thinks the president has done, you know, fairly well. Uh, the question of whether President Buhari has done well or not is subjective. Um, Dio being a party man, you would expect that he would say he has done well. Um, as a political scientist, I would argue that on the strength of his promises during campaigns, um, it's really uh, questionable in terms of the, the, the kind of um, performance and results we have gotten three years down the line. Um, he, he campaigned on three or four essential plans. Um, he was going to fight corruption. He was going to fix the economy. And um, he was going to improve um, the security of um, the Nigerian state and um, maybe build infrastructure. Um, on two or three areas that he campaigned on, I would perhaps call him a four over 10 in terms of security. I would call him a four over 10 in terms of the economy. I would call him a four over 10 in terms of infrastructure. Well, it would be unfair if I was calling him on infrastructure because the government is just three years old. But two most important aspects of government, security of the lives of the people and their welfare and um, the economy. I, I do not think this presidency has done well. I do not think this regime has done um, I mean, this administration has done as much as people expected, and I do not think there is anything to be happy about. For me, let as me a just, Nigerian... Let me, just, let, me, let, me just, yeah. let me just hold you there for a bit and bring if I, you know, into the conversation. If I, I mean, you know, if um, uh, Molumiwa is saying that he is scoring the administration 30, you know, I mean, that means something is wrong somewhere.